They were impressive. They're a good team. I, I think we helped them look uh, pretty impressive as well, but they are a good team. That quarterback did a nice job. I thought their fronts did a good job against us, you know, in both places. But, uh, you know, we can't give up big plays like we did on defense. It's the big plays that hurt you. And then on offense, you know, we, we stopped ourselves with, with mistakes in some of those cases. So, uh, you know, it's just part of the process when you get these kind of people. You know, you got some young people, but uh, we're talented, so we just have to keep plugging along. We had good things, more bad than good, but in our world, we, we have to identify the bad and fix it, you know. And, uh, it, you know, it, it could have been worse because uh, we, you know, our effort was good, so we didn't have an issue with effort. We had an issues with angles. We had a, an issue with technique. We had a, a couple of assignment issues. All the things that come with with the newness of being out on the field. Well, it is and it isn't. You know, um, you know, from practice, there were some kids that was practicing much better than they actually played, but the, the combination of, of First game, uh, getting hit with a surprise play early. I thought that that big play early, uh, a little more mature team would have probably handled that situation a little bit better emotionally, and uh, you know, uh, just just the overall concept of being young is part of the deal there. No, oh, great crowd. You, you know, it, it, when when things are rolling along, those kind of games, you hear them. Uh, for a while, and then you, you kind of blank them out. But I noticed when I, I, I think it was near the, the end of the second quarter, I noticed the whole place was packed. There was a stretch there I didn't pay attention to it, and near the end, it was a packed house. You, you know, the bye week is important. You know, typically, and it, it's a very true statement that you, you get a huge rate of improvement between your first and second game. Now, we're going to play a Big Ten team or a Big 12. What are, are they still Big Ten? You know, uh, but, uh, you know, that, that's a high, high quality of team we're getting ready to deal with, you know. And so uh, hopefully it will show signs in that game itself. Exactly. This is, you, you know, we preach all the time alignment, assignment, technique. And uh, it's a very old saying, but it's a very true saying. And, um, you know, if, if you can't operate within those, those parameters, you've got a problem. But, uh, like I said, the good thing is we did play hard. We played hard, but we just played uh, now with the, with the purest of technique. Deal. Yeah, we're going to reevaluate them. This week, we're going to focus on us. You know, we're not going to focus on any opponent this week. We're going to focus on us. We're going to clean up some things, get better, see who wants to get better. And we may have to make some changes even on the depth chart. You never know. But we, we have to identify the team personality a little bit more between now and the next two, three games.